Hi, the booking service is listening. How can I help you today? I'm going for a holiday in your area, and I need to look for a hotel. We have a variety of hotels located in diverse locations. What type are you interested in? Well, I'd prefer a hotel that has lots of nature around it, especially one that's also equipped with modern furniture. Okay. Well, we have one hotel that even has a mountain at the back with lots of flowers and trees. Moreover, you can stroll around a lush green hill nearby. Well, what about facilities then? Hotels offer a variety of amenities, including gyms, movie theaters, computer rooms, and more. Hotels with pools are really common. Would you want one of these in your hotel if you could choose it? Oh right, I'm not really interested in the gym because I can play sports outside in the natural environment. Why would I be exercising inside? Ah, it doesn't matter, Mike. If you have anything else to ask, you can contact us via email. Long time no see, Katie. How's your life been recently? My children are becoming more mature, and they're asking for phones to use for study and communicating with friends. Which age do you think is suitable to start using a phone? I think it depends on whether it's necessary to use it. Maybe when they start going away from their parents, you know, between age twelve and fifteen, they go out without their parents. Yep, I agree with you. Well, it's quite a good suggestion for me to stay in contact with my son, who is studying five kilometers away from home. My son is just eight years old now, and I'm so worried about his safety. It really freaks me out. But I don't think it's a suitable time to give him a phone right now. I think if it's solely for security reasons, you can consider between eleven and twelve for the youngest ages. I'm quite an old person. I didn't get any phone until I was about fifteen years old. The first phone I had was a really big brick, which I couldn't use for anything except texting. Oh, really? The first phone that I got was a smartphone, which my parents could use to track my location and keep track of my activities whenever they wanted. They could do video calls if they thought I was lying to them. Wow, such a high-end phone! Back in the old days, I wished I could send a picture message, but the only things I could do were make a call, send messages, and play snake. Oh, the snake game? Yeah, this is a video game on your phone. Yep,、yeah, but I've never tried it because I thought it was just something to kill time. Fifteen minutes is a good amount of time to kill time after the stressful classes. Feel free to give it a try now. <laughs> Hi, David. By the way, talking about digital tools, can you tell me how long you could live without your smartphone? Frankly, I check my phone quite often, about every five minutes for mail or some notifications from social networks. Watching films and reading news on my phone are my must-have activities. I can't take my eyes off my phone for longer than ten minutes. It's quite embarrassing. So, how would you feel if you forgot your phone at home? Well, it's actually happened to me many times, and I felt like I was missing something very important. As I said before, it's my must-have item whenever I go out for work or other things. It will always urge me to go back for it if I'm halfway out the office and I've forgotten it. However, I try to withhold myself and to manage a day without it. How could you manage? Well, at first, actually, I still found it really difficult to work without it. However, after some time, I could manage it. I didn't think about it, and I stayed focused on what I was working on. At that time, though, I got rid of a hooked-up device, and I can live without it for a day and work as normal. You can see how it becomes a vital part of our lives and affects our daily activities. How about you? Do you feel that you miss out when you don't use your phone? Honestly, my phone is something that is inseparable from me because I check it a thousand times a day. I think much more often than you do. I read a lot of things on Facebook and read news on the internet to update things. 
So if I don't have it beside me, I would feel like I'm missing something that helps me a lot in life. I know it's not a good habit at all, so I'm trying to unplug. I've also heard many people try to escape from their mobile for some days every week. They don't use the internet or any activities on their phone. This is also a great way to unplug yourself. How do you cope during this dull time? Yeah, it's quite tough. I take up some outdoor activities such as hiking or cycling around the lake to breathe fresh air, as well as to enhance my health condition. I really enjoy these moments when I'm away from everything. So do I. I'm also trying to cut down on my time on social media and get back to paper books and offline activities. Rather than going cold turkey, I think I should try to cut down on at least 50% of the weekly time I spend on my phone. Yes, I believe we should make a coordinated effort and I think it would be beneficial for us to attempt to lower our, you know, our user time.